Well, hello, you guys, and I finally got it to work. Wink, wink. Um, so here I am opening 3DS Max and about to show you the camera animation and how to make it look cool. Uh, I don't know if you've seen, but I did another animation for the planet. Now, this time it was high definition and I used a lot of cameras, and I will show you that. But let's begin with the camera animation tutorial. We will start by creating an object on which to focus on. So let's just create a star for now. And let's make it like that. Yeah, that looks good. And we want to give this star the bevel. And I guess it took the settings from the previous one that I was working on. So very well. Let's see. Have a uh, yeah. good looking star point. And so from here, let's create a camera from where we're at. And we, if we go here, you create cameras, create camera from view or control C or I'm thinking command and C. So now, as you can see here, we're in the camera view. But I want to go to perspective and look at the camera. Now, if we go frame one and press this auto key and create a keyframe here, and if we go forward in time, say around here, 550 would be okay. And we want, at that point in time, we want the camera to be even closer to the star. And what we do is also move this target view port or whatever it's called. And so as you can see, I actually wanted to focus on the star at first. Let's move that. And there it is. And at the very end, let's create a camera here, or keyframe there. At the very end, we want the camera to do a to do a zoom in. So let's go to local and like that. Create a keyframe for that. Move forward, and then we, there we are going to have or our focus remember to take this out because if you move anything else it's gonna screw things up big time so just remember that then we go to the camera view and then we play the animation now the one thing that i like to use is go to the graph editor or curve editor and select all the points or i mean it's up to you whichever you want to select and click it to make them smooth that way you don't get that sharp movement but instead you get the smoothness of of the camera rotating around star and so if we go here now so now you have this cool camera animation going on here There it is. And there it is. So now we go to the camera. It's all going to be a bit, a bit quicker. There. So now let's say we want to animate the star just for the heck of it. Let's say that around here, right when we're there, we want to animate it, rotate it towards us, and wait. We want to there. 
So unselect that. Go home and play. And actually, let's give this material to the star. And now, if we were to render it, we got. But anyway, you get the idea. That's how I did my camera animation. And what I'm going to show you right now is how many cameras I used to create my my most recent animation and i hope you've seen it on youtube and if not i invite you to do it uh let's review and modify it and as you can see you can already tell one two three four five six cameras full of six cameras to create that small animation as you can see There it is, you guys. I hope that I answered the questions that you were looking for. And if not, send me an email and let me know if that actually helped or not. But this was the first tutorial for 3ds Max and camera animation. See you guys later.